this video is to find the roots of a second degree equation that is a quadratic equation by drawing its graph. So a standard form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c that we equate to y and by taking different values of x we work out and get the corresponding value of y. Those pairs of x and y, x comma y in form of coordinates we locate them means plot them in a Cartesian plane and by joining those points we get the parabolic graph of a second degree equation and the graph intersects x axis if the polynomial is in terms of x at which location those are called the zeros. So that is the standard way. In this video we are going to do the same thing but not by uh, plotting points. We are going to find, we are going to draw in fact the graph of a quadratic equation by origometry that means by paper fold. We will take a quadratic equation and by a process we will do the paper folding and get the graph and from the graph we will find the zeros of the quadratic uh, uh, polynomial or equation. So let us begin. The form of a quadratic uh, equation is ax square plus bx plus c. So just for ease of the calculation, I am taking the standard form x square plus ax plus b and this equal to y. So for drawing a graph of a second degree equation, second degree equation graph is parabola. So we should know the definition of a parabola when we want to find roots by origometry. What is a parabola? Parabola is a locus of points. So this is a parabola. Parabola is a locus of points. That means this parabola consists of infinite number of points. This locus of points are equidistant from two things. One, a focus. Another is the directrix line. So, focus will be somewhere in this location, say for example, and a directrix line is somewhere below it. If it is uh, opened upwards, below it, and if it is opened downwards, above it. So, how do we define a parabola? Once we know the definition of parabola, then by origometry, we can draw the graph of any uh, uh, equation of second degree. So, a parabola is a locus of points where every point on it is equidistant from the focus and the directrix line. So I call the directrix line as L. So distance between the point P and a point on the parabola, this length is equal to distance between a point and a line, means what perpendicular distance. So these two distances are equal. Similarly, if we take any other point, distance between the point and uh, focus this distance is equal to distance between this point and the directrix line. So the same thing in every direction. So, so what is a parabola? Parabola is a locus, means a system of points where every point distance, every point's distance from focus and the directrix line are same. So this is what is meant by a parabola. So keeping this in mind, we will uh, uh, draw the graph once we have the equation. Now I take the standard form of a second degree equation that is uh, x square plus ax plus b equal to y. By standard methods of uh, finding uh, uh, focus and directrix line location, we will know that the focus will be at the coordinate at the location of minus a by 2. This is the x coordinate and uh, the, the y coordinate is uh, b minus uh, a square by 4 plus uh, 1 by 4. So this is after knowing the definition of a parabola by standard methods this location can be known and directrix line L will be on y axis which is B minus A square by 4 minus 1 by 4 so the location will be this so let us use this coordinate for uh, 
locating the focus and this for locating the directories. To understand this, I am taking one example. So, let us uh, consider a uh, second degree equation that is x square minus x minus 1. So, here x coefficient a is minus 1 and the constant which we have taken as a b, this is minus 1. So, the focus will be at the location minus a by 2. Means a minus of minus 1 by 2 and uh, this is the x coordinate. The y coordinate part is b minus a square by 4 plus 1 by 4. So, this happens to be 1 by 2 comma minus 1. So, this is the location of focus of the parabola. And the directrix line L is at y is equal to b minus a square by 4 minus 1 by 4. So, this is going to be minus 1 minus 1 by 2 which is minus 3 by 2. So, directrix line is at y is equal to minus 3 by 2. So, this we will locate on a Cartesian plane. The focus and the directrix line and since we know that every point on the parabola is equidistant from the focus and directrix line. So, by using origami, we can find the graph. We can draw the graph. So, this is the Cartesian plane. So, focus is at minus 1 comma, is at 1 by 2 comma minus 1. So, this is the focus point. And the directrix line is at minus 3 by 2. Means a minus 1.5 at this location. So, at this location, I will draw a line parallel to x-axis so this is the directrix line on the directrix line we will mark a good number of points since we know that every point on this line and the focus point is equidistant to the points on the parabolic graph. So once we have marked these many points, some good number of points, we will fold each of these points on the focus. And since uh, when we fold this point on this, we will get its midpoint. When we fold this point on this, we'll get another midpoint. And say for example, when we fold this point on this, we get the corresponding midpoint. So all those midpoints will finally form the graph of the equation that we are trying to get. So let's begin. For that, to understand when I fold so that I can see both the points, I have taken a transparent paper. So let us begin. I start with folding this point onto this. So, when I fold, I will see through the, you see, you see the two dots and I just try to superimpose them perfectly like this. So, the points are superimposed and it just crease it. At the end of this, we can clearly see the creases also or else uh, we can take a pencil and uh, uh, darken the crease. So right now I am not darkening because I am clearly able to see the crease. So I just continue the process by folding every point on this. So I am able to see through the focus point as well as the point on the line. So those two and just by slowly sliding I will uh, uh, see that these points coincide and then I take a crease.
So you can see the parabolic bend has started coming. And once I fold all these points over the focus, I will get the this side uh, the bend also. So just not uh, uh, folding these points on the focus point, almost the complete line I have scrawled over the focus point. And uh, a keen observation on this paper, uh, we can see good number of creases and I'm going to draw the innermost outline to show you how the parabola has come up. So I'm using a dark pen so that uh, this is visible. So the innermost line I'm tracking. And this is how the parabola has come. We have not plotted any points. We have not located any coordinates. We just saw the equation. We picked up the coefficient of x and the constant. Located the focus point. Located the directrix line point. And by folding every point on the directrix line over the focus, we got a parabola. So this is uh, what we wanted to do. This science is called origometry. So once we have drawn the graph, the points where the graph intersect, the polynomial was in terms of x. So the points where the graph intersects x-axis, those points are called zeros. So this has got two zeros. So roughly if I read what is the zero. If this is a graph paper then clearly we can tell what are the two zeros. But right now one of the zero is uh, between 1.5 and 2. And another zero is between minus 0 0.5 and uh, minus 1. So that you can clearly see. So we have drawn the graph and we have found the zeros or roots of the quadratic equation. So the zeros as I said, uh, those are the zeros. On calculation we can do the verification whether this are the, these are the zeros or not. So we took the standard form, uh, we took the quadratic equation x square minus x minus 1 and uh, just I showed a verification here. So I equate it to 0 using quadratic formula when we work out we get the zeros as uh, one of the zero as 1.6 approx and another is uh, minus 0.6. Exactly the same numbers we see here. One number is very close to 1.5 and on calculation it is 1.6. Another zero is uh, close to 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 and on calculation we have minus uh, 0 0.6. So this is uh, how we find roots by origometry for equations of a degree 2. Thank you for watching this video.